Houston just to show you what it looks like. with the kids get into the ocean water. Here, there's these pads built for people who want to bring along items for fishing. There in the distance, I don't know if you can see that, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit for you, is a place called the Pleasure Pier. You can go there and get ticketed entry to ride what is pretty much like carnival rides. Here is a place directly across the street from the seawall. And you can see each floor of each room has a balcony with seating so you can sit out there and look at the beach. It's just a beautiful breezy day out here where the temperatures in the 70s. Usually it's hotter. Today it's very pleasant. You can see the waves there moving along. Back to accommodations. There are places to stay and the further away they are from the seawall, the more affordable they get. But there is something for everybody to afford within how much they would like to spend. About 15 to 25 minutes driving distance away you can find motels and sometimes breakfast is included for as cheap as online price deals of $65 and up and what you would have to spend to stay closer to the beach can be over $200 to $500 so look out for those online deals on travel websites for accommodations for hotels and motels see what you can get for the best bargain for your buck or splurge a little and have a nice vacation. You can come for the day or just come for the weekend. All right, so let's talk about places to eat. There are expensive places and there is fast food. There is seafood and there are all sorts of different cuisine options available. Then there's the traditional fast food restaurants and you can find what you would like so you can plan for your day for the different meals again in all different prices there's literally a Burger King and McDonald's from where we drove from and there you can see along this entire seawall just down the street from the Pleasure Pier that there are other restaurants to eat at as well and then when you do stay at the hotel, there are restaurants and cafes in there as well that you have to look for the timings of when they're serving food. And another affordable option if for those who want affordability are the convenience stores because there's delis inside of the convenience stores where you can also stop to put fuel for gas in your car. All right, so let's talk activities. Not far from here is the Galveston Island State Park and there there's more activities than what's on the seawall. You can find boating and renting a speedboat with somebody leading the group tour or you can rent jet skis and you can rent smaller kayaks or canoes. On the seawall you can also rent golf carts 
there by the hour and some of the different companies that are competing with each other they're also renting for up to two hours at a time just look at that by either stopping by or checking those online all you need to do is do a simple search from your internet search engine or from your maps for whichever app you're using and search for golf cart rentals on the seawall in Galveston there's also bicycle tours available for rent or tours that you can join. There's the carnival rides at the Pleasure Pier. And then there's all sorts of activities in the water, which I mentioned earlier. Now, some of these activities can be done here on the seawall. And you can see in the distance, that's as about as far out as you can go is where those orange cones are. Always listen to the safety instructions and don't go out further than what is allowed because that's there for your safety to prevent you from having a miserable experience because you want to have the best experience that you can enjoy on your vacation. All right, so there's another place to eat right there. I just wanted to show you now. Uh, one important thing I wanted to mention is that some of these restaurants don't open until closer to lunchtime. So if you're looking for a breakfast, then be aware of what restaurants you want to eat at and what timings are for those to open. If they do serve breakfast, otherwise it's just going to be open for lunch and dinner. Now some of you might be asking, what about just spending the whole day at the beach right here? Well, for that, you have options of either being able to bring your own beach chairs and beach umbrellas, beach towels, activities for the kids if you're bringing kids along, or you can actually see right from where you're going to be parking that you can rent for about $25 and up a chair and a beach umbrella. And I believe they come in options of renting one chair with an attached beach umbrella or two. The price goes up depending on how long you're going to rent for, how many you're going to rent. Some of them are colorful beach umbrellas and some of them are in that distance, the blue beach umbrellas. Wherever you can find parking that's close to that means you can take the stairs down onto the beach and just approach those who are sitting there who will accept payment for it. Some of them will accept online payment methods such as Zelle. Some will accept cash, and then you have to ask them for other payment methods such as credit or debit card. There are also stores to go quickly get accessories at, like a beach hat, a cover-up if you get sunburned, um, sunblock. And those stores are scattered along the shopping centers here so that you can stop by and just spend for what you need and then quickly get back to enjoying your day at the beach. And again, this is Galveston Beach. All right, another important thing to mention here is that there is no entry for coming onto the beach. However, if you want to rent chairs and beach umbrellas where the beach umbrella is attached to the beach chair, there is rental for that. They look like Arundarak chairs. They're pretty comfortable. You can put your own beach towel on them for a little bit more comfort because they seem to be made of a hard material. And you want to be comfortable while you're sitting at the beach looking out at this water. Interesting thing to note is that there are businesses here that have been here for over 100 years. Here's the seawall planter boxes that were given to the city of Galveston in the 1970s. Okay, so the parking situation is that when you park your cars here, and you will see a lot of cars, and it will be apparent where you can actually where you can actually park, because all of those spaces have paint lines that you have to have your smartphone and you can pay by a mobile app or you can call 
the number posted on this parking sign to go ahead and pay by phone. And it's going to be 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. That is seven days a week. If it changes, you'll see that this sign will look different. And that there's no parking just for two hours, seven days a week, from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. But 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily, parking is paid. Now, you just want to reach out on the phone, or if it's an automated system, when you reach out by phone, go on the website, searching for parking at the seawall in Galveston to see about exceptions for parking for holidays throughout the year. Another thing that a lot of the properties here for the hotels on the seawall have fountains, and this one has a fountain that drains into a pool. So as you're driving along, you can keep in mind where you'd like to stay on your next trip. You could, of course, go ahead and stay at the same place where you already booked your accommodations. If you're in town just for the day, you can get an idea of where you'd like to come along with the family or whoever you happen to be traveling with. Now, not every single hotel has these, but many of them do, and it's worth a look. Here are some flowers that are growing right along the beach, and now it's time for some fun. You can see there's not a lot of crowds today here. Just listen to the sounds of that water. Ooh, and that water is cool. Feels good, but it's not too cold.
goes up to about 25 miles per hour. And just now my husband asked, are we allowed to drive here? And the answer to that question is, is rather than driving on the shoulder, try to drive in the right lane as much as possible. And the reason they tell you that is so that you won't hold up the traffic behind you. And uh, the cloudy, so it's uh, you know superb atmosphere here, and we are enjoying. Here we are from Galveston Beach. There is something to do everywhere.